Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, the Groundhog Day of LEGO YouTube channels. It's another day, another t-shirt, and another LEGO haul. And this one again is from LEGO Shop at Home. Got two packages. I don't know if they're from the same order. What orders? I think these are from Double VIP and the gift with purchase stuff. So I think that's what it'll be. <laughs> With the back order system, who knows? I, I was like, I, I, I never know. So we're going to be uh, opening these boxes and see what we got. Uh, and it's, it's, yeah, it will be news to me because I, I think I already forgot what I ordered. But when I see it, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember ordering that. So before I do, I, I'd like to acknowledge a comment or a Brickstar answer thingy hashtag bat comment from Mayo Hosco, and he's. Apparently going through one of my Minecraft playlists, uh, Mayo's been going through the back catalog of videos. Uh, there's over 4,000 of them, <laughs> by the way. 4,000 videos just on this channel. <laughs> 4,000. 4,000. <laughs> Four, if I made a video a day for a year, it would take like 11 years to make that many videos. And I haven't been doing YouTube 11 years. So, and I don't even, yeah. And that doesn't count the ones I deleted. <laughs> so, yeah, there's 4,000 videos. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. But, but anyway, Mayo commented on one of the very early videos, I think. Or actually, I think it was one of the Minecraft uh, with the, uh, from the Micro Build series, if I remember right. He also commented on, our, our first two videos were Minecraft videos, by the way. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft mocks that's before Lego made anything with Minecraft. Uh, Jacob made two of his own creations. Actually, our first three videos we did two on this channel and one on his they were Minecraft. But um, Mayo asked a very important question it's like, when did you stop using music in your videos? And I don't think I ever technically stopped. I mean, there are videos even this year that have some music in them, but it's definitely not every video or it may be months between videos <laughs> that I use any type of music. And if I do, it usually serves a purpose. But the video, the very video that he commented on is, why, is one of the reasons why that I don't use music in videos. Because if you're not really listening as you edit, like with you maybe have earbuds on or listen as to how other people listen, you could drown out what you're saying. There actually may be portions of a video that sound fine, but if the music gets louder, it could drown out what you're saying. So I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials back in the day, and they some talked about using music, you know, how to find royalty-free music where you don't have a conflict. And uh, uh, most all of my early videos, they got that, you know, welcome to the show or something from Kevin McLeod. Oh, and it's like sometimes I wish I could just take the music out completely, but still keep the words in there. So I, yeah, and I, it, other people, I have, I'm not the only one that's made the mistake or where the music is too loud for the video. <laughs> I know other people have done it too. And so I figure by not using music, I don't make that mistake. Now, I could, you know, like, be missing out on some things because it, it might be nice to have that little background soft music playing in the background for those uh, moments where there's a lull in the conversation. But most people edit those out, <laughs> the lulls in the conversation. Or, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I tend to talk a lot. I do say a lot of ands and ums and all that. But, yes, yeah, so that's the main reason I don't tend to use background music or in, I don't even really use intro music maybe use outro music maybe I'll do it in this video just for you Mayo <laughs> but another reason is I actually had some of my videos get flagged for copyright by another YouTube channel that used the same royalty free music and it just makes me so mad it's like you fight it and you have to and they usually don't respond so you have to and it by not responding i think you have to wait like 30 days and then the claim comes off but it's like it makes me mad <laughs> you know i'll go leave comments on their video because uh, it's like okay i made my video in 2015 you just uploaded your video 
uh, use the same royalty free music and all of a sudden now because you're in a multi-level marketing or whatever what, i don't know what those network the networks uh you, you you're just gonna claim my video because you use the same kevin mcleod music really i forget it was some comedian started a channel and he used certain kevin mcleod music and it was it, i got two of my videos got flagged i'm like it's so dumb and of course, both of the claims got released, but that because they didn't respond, I had to wait for 30 days. Uh, so that's another reason. It's like you're less likely to get claimed. <laughs> uh, even, yeah. Oh, and another thing that's happened. So I did. I do have like a music video playlist where I use other, you know, non-royalty free music. And for years, many years, you could do revenue sharing. That is, like. You know, YouTube got their cut, you got your cut, but with revenue sharing, you use somebody else's content, but they allow it. Uh, they'll get a big cut, <laughs> and you'll get a little tiny cut, but you can still have it monetized. And so I had like 12 to 15 videos that were monetized through this method, and whatever change YouTube did in June, it just they're all copyright claimed now. So they're not copyright strikes, so it's not negatively affecting the channel. But it was a little disappointing because I, I like making those videos every now and then. All right, so this is my haul now that I've talked a long time. Love it, Lego, that you're using um, paper. I, and, and just glancing, there's, things aren't too smashed now. My gift would purchase got a little bit smashed so this is um you still get the shoe promotion and you can still get the book promotion but what did i get in this video in this haul i got i finally broke down and got the poe dameron x-wing fighter uh I really probably should have waited and got it somewhere at least 20% off, like from Amazon or Walmart. But when I looked, I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, well, I'll get a gift with purchase with it. And it's double VIP. So I collect X-Wings, even though none of them are really built right now. I used to have a whole bunch of them built, and I, got, I took all of them apart for the most part. I think there's one or two that are still built. Charlie took apart one of them. <laughs> But yeah, it's Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter. So I finally broke down and got that. And this is, I'm probably gonna regret this, but I don't even like Minions. And this is good marketing by Lego, uh, is to get the free set. So I bought these two. And I did hold, I almost placed another order to get another minion set, but I was like, you know what? I don't even want the minion sets really that much. Uh, although, the, you know, the characters, I'm, I'm all right with the little minifigures, but, the, you know, this one's this one got one minifigure. No, it's got two. It's got the pilot and the little guy. And that one's got a couple of minifigures. So, yeah, I don't even like it. But So, bought, bought three sets and got three smaller sets free. So that was a pretty good promotion, um, this triple stacking. And if I had been able to go into a Lego store at that time when they still had this in stock, I could have quadruple stacked, I think. Uh, some Most of the Lego stores I've been to were out of this, the shoe. All right, so the next one. What is in this other one? So I did remember ordering that. And I'll sh I'm sure I'll remember ordering this, but I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Ah, more paper. Good job, Lego. Ah, this is a Star Wars themed episode of Brigzar. So I had to go look at my list and I did not have this. And there's something odd here I need to look at. Hmm. All right, so I got the uh, Millennium Falcon. So we got Pose Dameron's X-Wing Fighter and the Millennium Falcon with, uh, oh yeah, it's got a uh, Bulio in it. And so then, yes, you do get a free item. <laughs> and 
another free shoe. So, but no free minions because this wasn't minion. But this is different. What is this? You gotta be kidding me. How did this get? <laughs> this is my top turf thing. The guy stuck it. <laughs> he stuck it in my. Uh... How did it get inside the box? That's weird. I think it. Okay, I'm very confused. I was like, what is this inside my Lego box? And it's the top turf guy who does our lawn. I'm not even sure that's the one we use. It's from Luke. It's a technician, Luke. All right, so that's the hall. And uh, I know you probably can't see all this, but two main things I went for that I won't be building anytime soon. Got some free stuff and some stuff I didn't want. But Lego, this was um, one of the better weeks past week or so with the promotions good job and um, brings back memories of the old days of the lego promotions so yet another video a bricks our video of praising lego for getting something right in my opinion let me know what you think hopefully y'all didn't miss out and if you missed out on these it is because you didn't try <laughs> that's all i can say because it was there for a long time I'm not using the quote. Anyway, so this is a um, Brick Journal t-shirt, actually. It says, I got issues. Get it? And you thought I had issues. Well, you're probably right about that, too, figuratively and literally. See you guys in the next video. And I'll be wearing something different. I can't. The boxes have trapped me. Now, this is Brick Journal, in case you're wondering. Oh, goodness. Cut my way out. Joseph Olson standing in a field, staring at the stars, talking but for real, holding an oversized light bulb in his arms. As we go marching two by four, out of this dream and right through that open door. to absolutely show up Ryan here. <laughs> Home court advantage. That's right. The Georgia advantage. Good game, y'all. my elementary school. <laughs> Good game. the best among all the elementary kids here. Awesome, awesome. Come out here, recess every day, put in work. <laughs> they really showed up on court today.